Hello friends, how are you all doing? I am finally back. Um, basically my camera broke and it's taken about three weeks to get it fixed and then for me to receive it again. So that's where I've been. I've also got bangs now. I cut myself some bangs so I got a cute little fringe and what else? I think I've just been buying so much stuff. But yeah, I think it's going to be quite long so I'm going to go and start now. So the first item that I got is these really lovely kind of mushroom brown joggers. I got these in a size six and they are petite as well. So I'm five foot three. And I don't know, I do think they are a little bit of a weird fit, but I really like the color because the vision I have, right, is like white t-shirt tucked in, like a cool oversized trench coat, some trainers, because I'm doing a lot of traveling, you know, soon. Not, not like on holiday, but like, to go see my sister or to go back home and see my parents. It's gonna be a lot of train journeys and I kind of just want something which is more comfortable and, you know, but still look cool. So that's why I went for these. I think they were 25 pounds, I think actually, which I think uh, for joggers probably is quite expensive, but it's fine. But yeah, they're quite thick though. Um, but like I said, they are kind of a weird fit, but I'm gonna try them on one more time and see whether I really, really do like them. But I think, I think I will keep them. Next then is this white tie-dye long sleeve top. I love these tie-dye long sleeve tops. I have it in purple and I also bought like the dark khaki green version as well. I just think they're so easy to wear in like autumn and winter, just in jeans. And I love the fact it's ribbed as well. It's just a nice fit. and. I think the tie-dye makes it kind of less boring as well, so it's not just plain. But I got this one in a size 8. And yeah, I can't remember the size, um, I can't remember the price of this, but I think it's pretty cheap. Then got this grey dad cropped blazer, which is here. Can you see? I have already worn this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen on my stories, I've worn it and when is this going up? I might have already posted a picture of this. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I got this. And I got this in a size 4 as well, which I think is the perfect size because it is quite oversized anyway. And the shoulder pads make it really, like, boxy. So I'm glad I didn't size it up. But I got that. And then I also got the... God, the buns aren't done up, are they? But I also got the grey trousers to match again in a size 4. They fit perfectly on the waist. Um, and they are a little bit long, obviously, because I'm very, very short. But it's fine. I'm going to take them up. But I just think it's such a cute little cohort and wear, like, New Balance trainers or something. Um, yeah, I love them that. Um, and then the next item I literally ordered last night and it arrived today. I don't know why... I got this. I think it's because I recently watched the film Blade. That might have influenced me to buy this kind of style of coat. But it's like a trench coat, but it's leather. Obviously fake leather as well. Yeah, it's a super long kind of oversized trench and it's all like fake leather. Yeah, I don't know why. I just really, really like the vibe of it. And I can't wait to style this. Okay, so the next item is a little bit wacky, I think. <laughs> but it's these trousers. I've got them in a... What size they get them in? size four regular so i think they are a little bit long but i just really loved the color as well they are quite a stiff material i have no idea whether they fit me by the way so the trying on clip would be the first time but yeah i just thought they were quite cool but i, I don't know whether i'm going to keep them because they are quite out there yeah i'm not sure whether i'll keep these but i think these are 30 pounds then is this bag again i've already worn this it's a really gorgeous kind of slouchy style and it's beautiful tan leather material as well. This was only £20, which I think is so, so good. But yeah, I just think it's really nice. And they do it in a black colour as well, but I haven't got the black one. I just bought this colour. But yeah, I think this is going to be stunning in autumn with some coats and stuff. So, yeah. I just realised this is a very, very mixed haul. There's no order to it at all. Um, so, yeah. Then we have this blue and white striped shirt. These have been very, very popular on Instagram. So I was like, okay, I think it's time for me to get one. 
um, but I love it. It's just so easy to chuck on. It's a bit creased because I've worn it. I got this one in a size 4 because on the website it did say that it was oversized and I was like, uh, I don't want it too oversized because I still want to be able to tuck it into trousers if I need to. So, perfect size for me. Um, roll up the sleeves as well. But yeah, I just think it's really, really cute. This was, did I mention it was £20? It was £20. Okay, we have another bag. It's this one here. It is the Who What Wear brand. Um, sorry, you can hear plastic, but it's such a gorgeous lime green colour. Mm. Um, I love the shape as well. I just think, oh my god, right? Oh, yeah, that black leather coat. If I'm wearing like a really dark outfit and then just this, holding this for a little pop of colour. <sighs> yeah, I need winter. Um, this was in the sale actually. I think originally it was like £60 or something and then it got reduced to £30. So yeah I like it it's kind of like a croc pattern material kind of thing but yeah okay now these um I don't know why I bought these because I don't know when I'm really gonna wear them but I've worn them for a picture indoors but it's these gorgeous tan platform oh my god I didn't have to hold them <laughs> these tan platform mules they're quite a nice height and they are actually really really comfortable like when i was walking around in the flat in these no issues but yeah i just absolutely love the color and they're very kind of like 70s vibe which i'm enjoying i got these in a size four and they fit perfectly so yeah okay and then the next item is this little floral blouse it's got like little tie detail on the sleeves and then also a little tie detail on the front and sort of the buttons down the front as well but i got one in a size six i probably could have sized down because it is a little bit big on me but it's fine um but i just think it's a really beautiful kind of pattern it's quite thin as well but at the same time i'm kind of glad because it makes it a little bit airy but yeah i think it's very very adorable it's very like parisian vibes so yeah i can't wait to wear this one with just some jeans next we have this little mini skirt here I got this one in a size 4 and it fits perfectly. On the website it says it's the colour code silver, but mm, are you telling me that's silver? I think that looks kind of more like a baby lilac colour. But yeah, this is just so cute and I'm thinking of like a t-shirt tucked in or a sweater with like some trainers and stuff. Adorable. And I think this was quite cheap as well. I cannot remember. Next we have another skirt. It's very rare for me to actually wear skirts. This one is another little mini skirt, again with a little slit on the leg. This one is a really lovely kind of chocolate brown corduroy material. And I got this in a size 6 petite. Um, the only reason I went bigger with this is because it wouldn't be much stretch. Whereas with the other skirt that I bought, I always find that that material comes up really, really big. So that's why I got a size 4 in that and then a size 6 in this. So I probably would suggest to... Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. But yeah, that's the sizing I got. And yeah, I think this is really cute. I don't know whether I would wear it with tights, like sheer tights. I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just kind of like an autumn piece that you wear with trainers or some boots, but bare-legged. And then I picked up some PJs because you can never have enough PJs. Got this here, it's like a grey ribbed material. Got this one in a size 8 because I don't like t-shirts which are too like tight, especially when I go to bed. Um, and then I got the little shorts to match. They're like a really cute, again, ribbed material. I can't remember what price these were. I can't remember but they are sold separately so you can get different sizes so i got an eight in the t-shirt and then a six in the shorts god i struggled to get that out then got this kind of it's a bit creased now because it's been in like big box but this ruched clutch bag i just really love the color and i think for outfits it just looks really cute just to hold it the fastening is actually quite cool so that you can see it has like magnets here and then you have your zip but yeah, I think this was £22, but I know for a fact they do it in other colours as well, so yeah. I then picked up these knitted brown cycling shorts with this little brown 
knitted crop top. Um, it looked horrible. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like it at all. I got the crop top in a size six and then the cycling shorts in a size eight because I found they came up quite small. I did order two sizes, um, but yeah, the six was a bit too tight on me. So the eight fitted better, but I just don't really like the fit of the thing overall anyway. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna be keeping this at all. Uh, in, my, in, like, in my head, I had this vision of like, this cohort and like a really oversized blazer um but yeah i'm not a fan of it anymore so this lovely cream jumper with this v-neck and it's kind of got like the tight cuff as well so it makes it baggy on the sleeves i got this one in a size six i was gonna go for a size eight and i looked at the model and was like oh it's already kind of oversized on her and i don't want it to be too oversized because again if i want to kind of tuck the front into jeans then i don't want you know a bulging crop jump jumper in my you know jeans um do you know what i mean so i went for a size six in the end and i'm glad i went for the size six because i think a size eight would have been too big so yeah i'm glad i stuck to my true size um but i just love it and it's making me really excited for winter um and then lastly i'm going to finish off with some boots Again, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen me wear these. Um, I actually ordered a size 4 and a size 5 because I wasn't sure what size to go for. In the end, I went for a size 5, so the ones that I'm holding right now are the size 4, which I will be sending back. But it's these gorgeous leather boots. I absolutely love the square toe. It's very kind of like... I don't know, like vintage vibes, I think. But yeah, I love the square toe. The square toe is quite wide as well, which I haven't really seen before, so I really like that. It then has the little hill here, which is really, really easy to walk in. It's not too high. Um, and then you have like this kind of, can you see like this detailing here on the front? And it's a really kind of nice, like worn leather, which I really like. Um, you've got your zip there. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, I kept the size 5. Because basically, last year I got some boots from ASOS. And I got them in a size 5. And they are fucking huge on me. And I can't wear them because my feet literally slop around in them. Um, I've tried insoles. I've tried thicker socks. And nothing just really seems to work. So I actually had to get rid of those boots. Um, so when I came to ordering these, I firstly ordered the size 4. Um, and they felt a little bit tight and so then I ordered the size 5 and as I said the size 5 fits better and they're the ones I've kept so I probably would suggest sticking to your true shoe size but I wore these for the first time the other day and they did not rub so I was very very impressed I don't know whether that's because of the shape of my foot or because the shape of the shoe I don't know. But yeah, very, very impressed. Boots were like 75 pounds, I think. 75 pounds, 80 pounds. And that is everything that I actually bought, I think. I don't think there was anything else. Oh my God, yes there is, yes there is, yes there is, hold on. Um, The other thing that I bought, which I completely forgot about, is this huge bottle. Um, Not really fashion related at all, but I mean, after like a really big bottle, just to drink water because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I tend to like, I don't really drink much anyway. And if it's out for glass, I think it's just because I'm lazy. I just don't drink, I don't know why. But as soon as I have like a bottle of like a sports cap like this, I just drink so much more. So it's 1.8 liters. And yeah, it's, I drink so much water now because of this. And it looks pretty. It's a really cute lime green color and it has like the rose gold on the top. Um, the sports cap is kind of rubber material, which was a little bit odd, but I'm not mad. I don't mind it. You've got your handle as well. But yeah, this was literally £7 and I love it. But yeah, it's great. So that's, that's the last thing I got. All the links be in the description box below. What else? What else have I got to say? I don't think I've got anything else to say, but it feels so nice to have my camera back and be able to film videos again. I've missed... I really weirdly missed being able to sit in front of a camera and just film. So yes, this will be up. And then I'm also gonna be doing like weekly vlogs. I've got a Cubs Kune coming up with Eli. I've got, you know, lots of hair tutorials that people wanna see. 
Um, so I have a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.